Hey guys, what's up? Welcome and welcome back to my channel, LaMonica's Lab, if you're new. Today in the lab, we're going to be doing a chit chat, get ready with me type of video. I haven't talked to you guys in a long time, so I just wanted to sit down and put my makeup on since we were snowed in today anyway, and just go ahead and do a chit chat, get ready with me. So go ahead and grab your makeup bag or sit on the couch, grab your snacks, your tea, your drink, or whatever it is that may be comfortable for you to watch this video. Definitely do so and watch it all the way through. I'll greatly appreciate it. And without further ado, if you want to see how I got this look throughout this chit chat, give this video a thumbs up. Also hit that subscribe button. We definitely want to add you to the fam bam. And yeah, so if you want to see this look, then keep on watching. So I wanted to do a sit down, um, chit chat, get ready with me type of video because it's been a couple days since I've uploaded, if you noticed that. And um, a lot along from my schedule being a little out of whack this previous week, I just felt like I needed to take some time to really think if I still want to, um, you know, go through with this. Sometimes I will be honest, like, and not even just with um, YouTube, but in life, we all go through like feeling a little discouraged, um, depending on the circumstance or just feeling, I don't know, like just feeling like what's the point type of attitude and I always have to remind myself on my purpose and the reason that I started my channel. I was watching YouTube videos in 2007-ish, but like hardcore 2009. And that was when a lot of OG YouTubers were on here when it was about hair, when hair was like a big thing and now it's different, now it's wigs. Back then it was about like wefts and bundles and bundles and bundles and bundles. And so a lot of those people, um, they don't really post anymore so you know it was like you know I was like oh I can do this I can do this too like share when I wasn't it was during the time I was in college so I had nothing really to do so I was like I should try it but I was always scared to start my dad on channel and I'm starting with my brows you guys never really see me do my brows here on on camera so I'm doing it in this get ready with me chit chat so bear with me usually I have to focus and like take my time but yeah, so I was just afraid to start my channel back then. I always felt like, oh my gosh, I don't have a camera, I don't have lighting and all this other stuff. So as time progressed and then college, I was done with college, graduated from college, I was like, I'm gonna just do it using my phone. And so that is what I started doing. And don't get me wrong, I appreciate each and every one of you who are already subscribed to my channel, but sometimes I feel like, you know, people are grown, it's so saturated now on YouTube that it feels like you put in all this time and effort into it and it's like, you know, people are really not even seeing my videos. And I'm not gonna blame the YouTube algorithm or whatever, I'm still trying to understand what it is because there's one part that I just, it just hasn't met just yet and that's the watch time so it's like that's why I, I mentioned the community tab to you guys because I'm like interested to know what is it that you guys want to see what would you guys be interested in and that's why I have that community that's why I'm trying to stay active on that community tab post so I can try to get some type of idea of what you guys want to see what you guys are interested in seeing and what type of content you think I should upload so nevertheless I took some days off because I'm just like okay I wanted to restructure my thought process restructure what exactly that do I want my channel to go and what are some other things that I can do to be creative on my channel so I have a book that I write everything down in. I like to stay very organized and let me just finish this up long story short Sometimes it is very discouraging, especially when you are a, uh, a micro channel and you're trying to figure out how can people view your channel and see how interesting you are. Um, not to throw shade on anybody's channel, um, but you can see when people are really genuine in posting videos and actually reviewing products compared to people who are uh, who don't have time to view the products because they have other things that are going on because their careers in YouTube have taken off. And so... I just sometimes think like, okay, what can I do to get 
you guys to be excited and share my videos and like the videos and that is where I was at with it that's why I didn't pose I was just like you know what, whatever I'll get back to it when I get back to it but I can't have that attitude I just have to stay consistent and that is what um that's basically what I was praying about you know just asking God like you know what is it that you desire me to do you know because everything that I do I want to make sure I'm glorifying him and this is not just a phase or anything like that because I've actually am going through um, something like that now with um, in, in reference to my career you know trusting God and taking chances taking leaps and just really you know not being afraid to try new things so that is where I am at with it right now and I'm now going back to the drawing board asking God you know Lord what is what is this type of thing you know what is it that I need to be doing what I realize is that God moves when he's ready to move and he may not come, I know it's cliche, but he may not come when you want him to, but he definitely is there, always there on time. He comes in perfect timing when you least expect it. Um, one of my favorite um, songs besides uh, No Weapon Formed Against Me Shall Prosper uh, scripture with um, Fred Hammond is that he's able, you know, God is able to do exceedingly and abundantly in each and every one of our lives. and. You just you just can't give up on him because he definitely won't give up on you that's what he promised and so that is something I have to remind myself on a daily even when I'm feeling at my lowest or really frustrated mentally because you can be smiling on the outside the day is going on you know but mentally in your mind you're thinking like what in the world like what is this like what what is really going on so just continue to strive for my goals for my channel and keep going and don't get discouraged and what I will promise myself is also like just don't look at others don't look at other channels who've already you know surpassed that the numbers that you're trying to get through and for me it's not even just about numbers like it's really about the engagement that I have with you guys so like I said, I appreciate each and every one of you thus far that are always um, commenting and always, you know, responding to the community tab to help me out. Those things are the things that keep me going. I'm like, wow, they're actually like responding to me or they're actually like interested. So it's like, that's what keeps me going. And yeah, so. Just gonna keep on trucking on my journey and, and you guys will be with me and we'll be going through this together. And so that is what it is with my channel. I've just, I know it's like blubbering and I'm just probably all over the place because I'm trying to focus on this brows. But I will say like over time, since I've been getting like better at my editing, I may not have the best software to do my editing. I just use iMovie. But I actually enjoy editing my videos. And if I have some cool effects, it'll probably be a bit better. But um, for me, I feel like I like to edit my videos. And although editing takes the most time compared to just sitting down recording the video, editing is actually like, it's, I think it's so cool that I can look back at myself, take out parts, add parts. It's just so fun to me. Um, and I enjoy, I enjoy creating content. I just think that my struggle um, currently is that, what is it that people wanna see? But I hope you guys will just continue to rock with me and you know, you guys let me know down below what you guys wanna see and that definitely does help me out. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and tone my face with the Caudalie lotion, uh, purifying lotion. I mentioned this in my January, uh, what's in my makeup stash for January. That is the Caudalie purifying lotion. It smells so good. It's so like refreshing, just really fresh, just refreshing. And I really like that. So I want to start with the eyes because I only used this palette once and I was so excited 
I said I was going to use it again in this video. I purchased this from Marshalls. It was like $4.99. It's this e.l.f. palette. What is it called? Island Breeze Velvet Touch Eyeshadow. These things, this is what it looks like. It has this large mirror. But the shadows in here, I was trying, I used this one already. Beautiful. They are creamy. So I think I want to try and do something with this burgundy red and things like that. But I'm going to first go into my ColourPop palette, this Perception one, to get the transition shade that I need. So yeah, I'm just going to go back to my regularly scheduled program of putting at least two to three videos out a week and getting back motivated no wor and not worrying about the other things that are going on on YouTube. I know that can, like I said, can be very discouraging, but just I got to just keep going and that's basically it. So... But I know God has a plan for me, so, and you. You guys have to understand that too. Whatever it is that you're going through, feeling discouraged or um, feeling like what's the point type of attitude, God has a plan for each and every one of us. And we just have to wait patiently and trust in him that all those things will get done. Regardless of the circumstance or situation that you're in, those things will get done and he will meet you at your point of need when you least expect it. Not when you're worrying about it or anything like that. And you can't pray and worry. And that's one of the things that I have a hiccup on. I, I tend to pray and I'm like, Lord, I trust you. I trust you. But yeah, I'm still worried about it. You can't do that because it's contradicting. And you're basically saying you don't trust what God can do. So that's my gist on that. I know it was a little religious or whatever, but... I just wanted to share that part of my testimony of, you know, this year in 2019, I truly, truly want to just trust God and allow him to show me the direction I'm supposed to be going in rather than feeling like I trusted him in something and then questioning him about it later. So I'm working on that just as a whole within this year of just really fully trusting him and let, allowing him to utilize me to the best of my ability to glorify him. So that is the gist of that whole conversation. And yeah, I do want my channel to uh, go uh, go further and I am excited to continue to do content for you guys. So yeah, that is that. This is not a makeup tutorial, this is a chit chat. So I wanna make sure I keep that in mind because then I'll get quiet and forget that we're supposed to be chatting. So anywho, I haven't talked to you guys in a while. So this hair, if you haven't seen that video, I do have a video on this hair. This is the Main Concept Afri Natural Cascading Ripple 18 inch curl. It is a crochet look, so I'll list that video in the cards above. And yeah, these things are so creamy on this e.l.f. palette. Like, it's crazy how creamy. I'm using my finger because they're so creamy. And when I went in with that, uh, green this shade when i went in with this shade i just don't want to blind you guys when i went in with this green shade it was like breaking up when i was using my um brush so i just think it's best for me to use my finger but yeah i did a video can't even get i'm getting sidetracked so i did a video on this hair and i asked you guys if you like me to do different crochet reviews and I like watching uh, crochet reviews. It just keeps you trying different things. So be on the lookout for my next one when I finally take this out. This has been like a two weeks. Has it been two weeks? This is going on the second week for me wearing this hair. And I'll put it in the description box below of that video, like my thoughts. But I'll let you guys know down since we're having a chatty uh, moment. This hair definitely is, the curl pattern is bomb. The curl pattern is bomb. It's just that it does um, tend to, the hair stick together. So you do have to like pull them apart and loosen it just so it doesn't look like it's just, you're wearing one, one big wig that you did not fluff out to make look, you know, uniformed or more realistic. But other than that, I love the curl. The curl is cute and it's, it doesn't feel as long anymore. When I first got it, I was like, oh my gosh, this is so long. But it's actually not that not that long now that it's getting older. And now that it's actually getting older, I can like play around with it a bit more. Like I fluff it out. Like you'll see once I finish everything in the video, I actually changed it to a center part. Um, and I actually like it in the center part too. So 
Because I was at work, I was at work the other day, and I was talking to um, one of my coworkers, and she was saying how she liked cats and all this other stuff. And I'm like, girl, I do not like cats. Comment down below if you like cats. Comment down below if you like dogs. I would prefer to have a dog, because I feel like dogs, like there's this one dog that I want so bad, but my allergies are so bad. And my boyfriend's like, uh, no, you're gonna be sneezing like never before. But it's a cute little Maltese. It's so little and white, it's so cute. But if I had to get a dog, that would be the dog. I used to want Yorkies, but honestly, they are so expensive. Like it makes no sense how expensive they are. Let me finish the other eye and then we'll come back to talking because I, I'm trying to figure out what I want to do there. It ain't working. I'm trying to talk and do this at the same time. I have no idea how people do this. All right, so lashes are on. I'm going to go ahead and moisturize my face using my favorite Kiehl's Ultra Facial Cream. I don't know, that Too Faced Peach, what is it called? Peach lip balm i feel like i just put it on in the beginning of this video i've probably been, been, been recording for about uh 35 minutes and i feel like i do not have anything on my lips so i don't know how i feel about that i don't like that <laughs> going in with my primer this is the Too faced quench primer so it was just a little this is just a little you know pick me up type of get ready with me chit chat i know that it probably was all over the place but um that's just how my mind works sometimes i have so many things to say that i just can't even get it out but yeah so let me know down below how you how you cope and how you you know get through things when you're feeling a little down or discouraged let me know and thumbs up this video if you like me to do um chit chat type of videos and inspirational um videos because i just feel like i'm not the only one that's like going through life basically so i feel like we can help each other no matter what what journey we're on i feel like that's the whole beauty behind me even starting my youtube channel in the first place is because I feel like we as women can help each other out, you know? We can help each other out. We can, you know, give pointers. Sometimes people go through things that are similar and sometimes people go through things that are different. And you can always share your points on how you've gotten through something in life it can always help the next person like that's just my motto but 2019 so far has been good I won't complain about that um, of course there's been like typical adulting stuff paying bills and things like that but other than that I can't complain and I just been writing down my goals taking each day at a time not overwhelming myself because how the thing is my mind like i said my mind goes a thousand miles per minute and i want to tackle every goal that i have set on my bucket list i want to do it all at the same time and that's where my frustration will come in from so it's like girl you got to take tackle one thing at a time you can't do it all at once you're an incredible hog so if that's you then i'm that's why i'm telling you this now just this halt take a quick step back evaluate what you have accomplished so far and then continue to work towards those goals one by one by one rather than trying to attack it all overwhelm yourself feeling discouraged and then now you're just at a point where you really don't care anymore or something like that you know and we don't want to stop you know doing what we love to do or stop trying to complete our goals or our bucket list you know <laughs> yep 
this combination you guys bomb this is the Too Faced Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. This one is in the shade Warm Beige. And then the Marc Jacobs Shameless Youthful Look 24-Hour Foundation in the shade Tan Y400. If you're my complexion and you want that golden look, this is it. This is it right here. And it's almost mid. It's already about to be summer soon. We're already we're creeping up on spring. You guys, in spring, I definitely want to do some some different stuff on my channel so definitely stay tuned for that especially since it's going to be warming up i want to like broaden my channel a bit um as you guys know i love doing like makeup and hair and hauls makeup hauls beauty hauls clothing hauls so i definitely want to do some more maybe like look books once it gets a little warmer i can do those outside and you know stuff like that more anywho I'm gonna bronze with my Anastasia Beverly Hills bronzer. First, I'm gonna go with my MAC. You guys know I can't go without my MAC. The only thing is, this one is a dark, deep shade. I thought I got deep, the deepest one. Like my other one that's gone, dark, deepest. I thought that's what this was, but it's not the same. This one is a bit bron like a bit bronzier. So you should, so should I say? But it's cool. This Anastasia one will kind of like cool down the um, the MAC one. That's why I mix it. Because the MAC one, as you can see, is a bit like orangey. But the Anastasia one is a cool tone, almost cool tone bronzer. So I like mix it to like cool everything down. Oh yeah, and again, thank you for all the birthday wishes. If your birthday is in the month of February, happy birthday to you. I adore each and every person for sure in February because it's my birthday month and it's just like this thing when you're born in February. So that's my little happy birthday wish to all you guys if you're celebrating your birthday. You guys, Valentine's Day was recently too. I hope you guys enjoyed your Valentine's Day or Galentine's Day. It doesn't necessarily have to be with a significant other. Maybe you went out with your girlfriends. I hope everybody enjoyed that. If you celebrate it, sometimes people don't celebrate it, like myself. I feel like Valentine's Day should be every day, especially if you're in a, like a serious relationship. Um, but we can talk about relationships in the next Get Ready With Me. This one was just mainly just uplifting each other as women, as friends, as supporters of one another, and just going out there and really continue to grind and hustle and do what you have to do and allow God to use you. Because at the end of the day, the ultimate goal is no matter what we're doing, we want to glorify him. So that is my ultimate, like, thing. The glitter just made it white, but it's fine. For blush, I'm going to go in with an Odie but a goodie of mine, MAC by Lovejoy. I haven't used this in a while. I've been using, like, my oranges and peaches lately. But since we're doing this, like, burgundy look, I'll go ahead and yeah it's talking to you guys is really like nice I think I want to do more get ready with me it's like and they're like really like there's no script that's why I like watching get ready with me videos sometimes they may be all over the place we're maybe all over the place but that's just like a genuine conversation because it's like girl did you see so-and-so and then you get back to the conversation but what was I saying you know what I'm saying? It's like that. Like, and that's why I like uh, Get Ready With Me videos. So I thank you guys for sitting here chit-chatting with me. I hope you were able to get your makeup bag out or even just while you're on your lunch break or whatever. Um, watch and just, you know, relate to this video. And if you did, give this video a thumbs up. I'll greatly appreciate it. And until next time, love, peace, and beauty. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.